Hey guys, it's Spiral Assassin again with another harsh review, and today we're talking about Dismantled. Now, Dismantled is a game that I got super excited for when I first seen it pop up on the free-to-play games. And I would say it's like a mobile game and an imitation of Project Zomboid. And that's always a game that I wanted to play. It's all about, you know, collecting resources and going around. And I would also say that it's kind of like Plants vs. Zombies mixed with DayZ. Now, there's an aspect to it where it says Days Survived. So I don't know if you can... Um, if you respawn when you die or if it restarts completely. I have no idea. But it's also a Souls-like because you can sit there at a campfire and it will respawn all of the enemies. Um, so just like the name ensues with Dismantled, you can destroy everything. Uh, just like Minecraft or whatever. And that's what I really like about it. Um, but the I don't know about the replayability. It might just be one of those games that you can just go through and play once and be done with. But also as a split screen function, um, but no online co-op. And I feel like they can really improve on the game with the rating that I'm going to give it. They can improve just by having the online co-op. Um, but if you're getting drunk with your buddies and sitting here and playing this game, it could be fun. Um, but that's like a party game, like, I don't know, Mario Kart, but that has nothing to do with, like, the similarities. But I would say I would give this game a good 5 out of 10, because not going to lie, it's pretty shitty. Um, but at the same time, it, it makes me want to come back for more, because there are, I did see a little bit of, like, turrets and home defense or base building i don't know 100 percent about the base building but I, I don't know this game's fun um free to play it's more like a mobile game like i probably said uh something that i'd really like play on my phone if i don't know if i'm at work or just out doing something i don't know going for a car ride but i have no idea if it's even on mobile um, so I'm gonna stop talking for a couple minutes, and you see that boss right there? I'm gonna fight him at the, at the end of this video. So I'll stop talking for a couple minutes, let you guys get a feel for this, and then I'll come back when I have more to say. Thanks, guys. Okay, so another thing is there's no character customization. I mean, you can craft outfits and stuff, but I don't know how far the range of the outfits go. Um, I know you can upgrade and like make bed rolls and stuff like that so you can sleep. And you can do these links, like these uplinks, so you can get rid of all the zombies in this area. Um, but that'll be a big improvement if they do a little bit of character customization. But this is just, it's an empty game. And that's why I give it a 5 out of 10, out of to like the total rating. Uh, I may come back to this game if I do finish it. If, if I come back and just beat it, I don't know. It's like a 50-50 chance for me. Um, it's this isn't a game that I really want to beat, but it's something fun to just pick up and try. Especially if you want to play Project Zomboid, but that game obviously is much better than this game. Um, so that's the first boss right there. 
and you've seen how easy it is. I also have like throwing knives, there's projectile weapons, and eventually you'll like get guns, like I said, with turrets. And that's that's the exciting part for me. I want to build a base and I want to be attacked by zombies, I don't know, in waves or I don't know, like seven days to die maybe, where you get attacked by a horde and you have to fend them off with defenses. Now that would be pretty cool. But the first part like of starting this game, it's extremely slow and you're just going around hitting random stuff, killing zombies, doing the little things. There's also cooking and cooking is different in this game. You don't have hunger, but you you can cook and it'll give you buffs that will help you um, like permanently. So if you make like a tomato soup, it will increase your health permanently. So that's kind of strange and different, but at the same time, I kind of like that because it's harder to make the food than it would be in a normal game, kind of like real life. And uh, you can also upgrade your cooking pots, sleeping bags, you can sleep and all that. But anyway, you guys have a good day. I'll be back with another review here soon. Thanks. Bye, guys.